All right, Shalom. I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rakakodash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. And much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful that believing on the words of Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahushah. It's your brother Dawada coming at you in a lesson. Lord willing, is edifying. And in this lesson, you see where the mirth is being taken away from this place, man. All right? Why? Because of who's in power. Remember the scriptures say, uh, the people rejoice. Matter of fact, let's get that. Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And that's what you're seeing. People are in a state of mourning. Now, this is from uh, an article off Newsbreak. It says, call volume to 988 hotline increasing around Birmingham area, All right? Now, this hotline, matter of fact, let's read into it. It says, September Suicide Prevention Month and WBRC is checking on the impact 988 suicide hotline number is having in the area. So now you have a spike of increase and people calling this hotline, all right, to, to voice their problems, to voice their concerns with this system. Why? Because their their joy, their mirth is being taken away, man. All right? It says 988 is a suicide and crisis lifeline and it is a free confidential support for anyone in crisis yeah these people are having as they say coming to jeebus moments man all right where they're contemplating life decisions should i would have should i have bought that tv last year <laughs> you know should i have paid for that subscription instead of Buying my child something to eat? Yeah, man. That's the calamity that these people are experiencing. Matter of fact, real quick. All right. <laughs> Jeremiah. Chapter 49. And. Verse 11. Let's see. Let's get to the point. Let's we'll start at verse 7. It says, Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Is wisdom no more teeming? Is counsel perish from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanish? Yeah. The Lord is drying up this, this green bay tree, man. Taking away their wisdom. So much so, they're failing in every work thereof. It says, Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep. O inhabitants of the Dan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him. So it's the Lord, Yahweh, bringing these calamities on these people because they're, they're, uh, they're dwelling here. All right. They've made their abode with this man's system. All right. Which leads to nothing but death and destruction. Remember the scriptures say that he is as hell and as death and cannot be satisfied. All right? So you're not going to have any relief under this man's system. You see? It says the hotline number is still relatively new, only having lunch within the last two years. And why is that fact being made? Because the Lord has increased 
the plagues upon this place, man. So much so that you have a new hotline in the city of Birmingham dealing with um, <laughs> how they call it suicide and crisis lifeline, man. You see that? That's Jehovah Bashar Shah speaking all day. But the Lord said these things were going to be so. Matter of fact, let's go to St. John. St. John, chapter 16. And let's see. Yeah, verse 20. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice. And that's what we've been experiencing, man. All right? For those who've been quickened, been made of life. All right, you're you're weeping, you're lamenting, you're crying, you're crying out by way of the oppression, man. Right? It says, "But the world shall rejoice, but ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy." Right? So our sorrow, all right, is being turned into joy, and in contrast, the 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 world, they're rejoicing. It's being turned into sorrow, man. All right? If one party is happy, the other party is going to be upset, man. You can equate it to a football game. You got two opposing fans in the stadium. When one team scores a touchdown, the other team going to be <laughs> upset, man. You know? Or fans be upset and vice versa. All right? So, in this movie, Yahweh Bashar Shah, he has his saints. All right, witnessing the 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 bringing down of this man's kingdom and it's giving us joy. But in contrast, the ones who who hang their hat here, the one who dwell here, they're they're, they're receiving that that sorrow, man. You know, and rightfully so. This 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 place is extremely wicked. And for you not to cry out, you 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 basically saying you want to dwell here, man. But guess what? The Lord's going to continue to take away your mirth. He's going to continue to take away your joy, man. You see? Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Right. Isaiah chapter 24. And verse 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The the haughty people of the earth do language, see? So why is the earth in mourning, man? Because of who's in power. All right? Again, we read it in Proverbs 29, you know, where the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. It says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, right? Everything is defiled because of who's in power, man. From the food to the to the water, to the air, to the mindset of the people. See? It says, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the orders, broken the everlasting covenant. Yeah, that's what Esau has done, man. All right? To the point where he doesn't even keep a... Uh, a land Sabbath, man. All right, which is meant to to have the the land rest, to where it can build back its nutrients up, man. You know, well, this damn devil overfish, overpopulates. I mean, over uh, over uh, yeah, overfish. You know, to the point where uh, you now having the the sea, you know, basically reject itself, man. You have a term called beaching. Well, this is all done under the the guise of the watch of the so-called white man, Esau Edom, man. But it shows you that even the, the animals are in mourning, man. You see? It says, therefore, have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate, see? Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left, right? And that's what you're seeing, all right? That the inhabitants of the earth is going to be burned, 
right? And the few men that's going to be left is the elect, man. See? Verse 7. The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth. All the merry-hearted do sigh. See that? <laughs> All the merry-hearted do sigh. See? It says, <laughs> check this. Uh, it says, still thousands of people are on the verge of life-altering decisions. Excuse me. Still, thousands of people on the verge of life-altering decisions are are seeking help. And now it's easier for those calls to be routed to resources in the area. See that? <laughs> well, that's your how about shower shot, man. It says, let's read this. It was like 2,200 calls in June of 2023, said Delmore. Now we're at 3,200 almost calls in 2024 as of June. And it's only going up. Beautiful. You see that? And it's only going up. See? Yeah. The calamity, the, the the hell that these people are catching is only going to increase, man. You see? And it's, hey, that, that damn hotline, it might well get ready to get more operators, man. That bitch going to eventually be be overwhelmed, man. It's going to be consumed by the, by the, by the uh, mourning of these people, man. Let's get this <laughs> book of Baruch. Damn. Hey, call all your lawyer. How about shower shot, man? You see? Baruch, chapter 4. And. Mm, I'm going to start at verse 25. It says, My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thine enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Right. We're in a, uh, that, that short season, man. All right. Well, we're getting ready to witness the downfall of our enemies. Hey, and we we seeing it play out now. All right. But it's only going to intensify. It's only going to grow into its perfection. It says, my delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O oh my children, and cry unto the Most High, for you shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Right. We've now been uh, woken up, as it were. We've been shook to our senses. We understand this is not it. So we crying out to your heart by shout, shout, by way of the oppression. Our hotline <laughs> is to your heart by shout, shout, all right? But it contrasts their hotline, okay, to deal with this oppression as to who? Esau Edom, the same one who caused it, man. You see, we crying out to our power to give us comfort, to give us relief. See, as it... As it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek Him ten times more. And that's the that's the uh, rallying cry, man. Keep seeking the Lord, especially while He may be found, man. Because it's gonna come a time where you're not gonna be able to find your heart by shout, shout. All right. It says, "For He that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy." With your salvation. You see that? Oh, the Lord says he's going to wipe away our tears in Revelations, man. You see? So it's going to be an everlasting joy. We're not going to go uh, into captivity anymore. Be under the, the rule of these damn devils, man. No. The Lord is taking all that away. It says, take a good heart, O Jerusalem. For he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. You see that? Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. Yeah, these cities are miserable, man. Hey, 
and and Birmingham is is just a a, a, a centerpiece or an example of, of the Lord showing you He's taking away the joy of these people, man. Right again, it said that the that the uh, <laughs> that calls have increased. You know, again, miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy fall, she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. See that? For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude and her pride shall be turned into mornings. Yeah. See, the Lord is taking away the pride of this place, man. Hey, it's only going up, <laughs> right? <laughs> she said, uh, phone providers just starting, just started geo-routing the 988 calls on Tuesday. So phone locations will determine where the call goes now. Instead of the area code, see, and they got the thing down to a science, man. See that? It says though the daily number of calls fluctuates, they're more shared. They trend to excuse me. They tend to get ten to twenty calls in the daytime, and fifteen to thirty at night. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> Well, it's increasing daily, man. All right? That's your hot by shot, shot. Taking away these people's joy. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 35. It says, For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and she shall be inhabitants of devils for a great time. Right? This place is going to be a, a desolate wilderness wasteland, all right, full of desert creatures, man. You see, when the Lord get ready to judge this place, man, it's ultimately going to be a, a memorial on how not to run a kingdom, man, okay? But you're saying these people, uh, happiness is being taken away, man, all right? So much so that the suicide and crisis hotline in Birmingham has started to receive increased calls, man. Matter of fact, let's get one more thing and close it out. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not, nor the years draw not, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Yeah. And guess what? Those days are fastly approaching. Where these people are not having any pleasure in it, man. So much so, you got the, the, the suicide and crisis hotline increasing, man. But the Lord is taking away the mirth of this place, the joy of this place. And our mourning is being turned into joy. So I pray this has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Radash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, coming at you another lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.